Hey, welcome to our new vlog series featuring town of Franklin, Tennessee. Now, we get calls from buyers relocating or moving into the Nashville area all the time. Most of you want to know where do I get information on subdivisions and neighborhoods. You want to feel like you've been here. So this vlog series will break the Franklin area up into smaller areas. That way we can explore each one in more detail. Now we plan to take you on a drive through neighborhoods and look at a variety of homes so you can narrow down the search before you make a trip here. We'll use a GoPro, a Google map, a camera, and we'll look on the MLS to give you as much information as we can on each area. So if you're considering Franklin, Tennessee, you definitely want to hop on board. Our first vlog will start exploring the historical areas and homes that are available in the downtown Franklin area. So let's get started. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to get weekly updates about Nashville, Tennessee living, then we recommend you hit that subscribe button down below. Our goal is to be your weekly boots on the ground and provide you videos every week so you can get to know all about Nashville, Tennessee living. We get calls every day from people just like you looking to make the move to Nashville and we would love to help you find the perfect fit. So if you're looking to move in 30 days or 90 days, pick up the phone, call, text, or email today and we'll get to work right away. Our team will be happy to help you make a smooth move to Nashville. Okay, so before we get started, let's take a quick look at the map and know that we're looking for historic homes in the area that are for sale that have been built from 1900 or older. So basically the 1800s. And when you're in this part of the country, you can find those. So if you wanna purchase a house full of history, you can find it here and Franklin's a great place to find it. So as we're looking at the map, we can see the downtown area. We do have three properties that are for sale that fit this uh, category. And then we have some outliers. So um, we have some on the east side. We have some that are over on the south side. And we have some that are on the north side. So let's just take a quick look at these. Okay, so just very quickly, we'll take a look at these eight listings. This one was built in the 1900s. It's got you know about a quarter acre of land. It's got 3,800 square feet, four bed, three and a half bath for 1.7. The next one was built about the same time, but it's got more acreage, 3.7. Three bed, two and a half bath, 28, 25 square feet and 2.2 million. As we keep going up, this one's actually downtown, built in 1866, so right after the Civil War ended, uh, someone built this house. It's crazy to think about how old that is, but it's a 5,500 square feet, five bed, four and a half bath, listed at 2.7. And we've got another one right down the street. It's about a block further down than the last one, built in 1850. So it was pre-Civil War, about a decade before actually. <clears throat> and then we've got um, 4,300 square feet, three bed, two and a half bath for 3.5. This one's actually a law office right now. So it is uh, zoned with, with a lot of these other homes in the downtown area are zoned office and residential. Then we're gonna go to the next one here. So now we've got some land, we're gonna get to some outliers. Uh, we've got 42 acres of land built around 1900, four bed, two bath, 2,271 square feet for 4.7. So you're buying some property with that one. This next one built around 1850. So about the same time as the one downtown, uh, five bed, four and a half bath, 5,700 square feet for 5.275, but you are getting 31 acres. All right, so now 1836. So this one was built a long time ago and it's pretty darn fancy for its for the time it was built. 8,500 square feet, five bed, four and a half bath, 20, basically 22 million for that one. It does have 66 acres. And then our last one here, four bed, four bath, 4882 for 24 million built around 1900. So let's take a look at the downtown area. Oh, also this one has almost 300 acres. Forgot to mention that. So let's take a look downtown. So to start off, I thought I'd just give you a quick sample of some of the things that are on the main street or just on the side streets off of main street. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, small local business and they refurbished these old buildings. Uh, that have been around since the early 1900s 
and made restaurants and retail space. Lots of people walk the streets every day. It's a really cool area, great vibe, lots of families. Uh, we're getting ready to come up on the Franklin Theater, which was actually built in 1933. It's been since refurbished into a music venue, just a small, intimate uh, music venue. It's a really cool place. Now we're coming up on the town square. So on the left-hand side of the picture is where the circle is, so this is making your way around the circle. Now as we come in from the east side on Highway 96, you cross the river and the railroad tracks, and then you really do hit this historic area of downtown Franklin, where you have homes that were built in 1800s and early 1900s. Our first property is right here, coming up right now. So here we are, we're coming in from the east side on 96, which turns into 3rd Avenue, and we'll run right into this property on 305 3rd Avenue South. Uh, built in 1866, five bed, four and a half bath, 5,500 square feet. They're asking 2.7 million. It's a one of a kind home in downtown Franklin. It's, it's two blocks off the public square. It does have five full fireplaces and incredible chandeliers. It has the original hardwood floors, the 14 foot ceilings. And I mean, this is a really cool property if you're looking for something historic. So with a quick look at the property, you've got the front door here on this side. You do have an entrance on the other side. You've got the original hardwood uh, floors and planks. As you go in, they've def definitely kept this one period. So again, it's on the historic registry. So there's a lot of period pieces in regards to the chandeliers and furniture. Uh, the walls have been done with murals and wallpapering, which is very common in that area. Uh, again, you have the five fireplaces because you didn't have central heat and air in the 1800s. So you had to heat the house with fire and you had to be able to raise windows to get airflow in there in the summer and those high ceilings really helped with that, uh, keep that area cool. So we kind of scroll through here. As you can see, they've got the capacity here with the dining room table. They've got six, 12, 14 seats there. They got some built-in cabinetry here. The kitchen is actually pretty good size. Uh, you got your big windows here. Uh, let's see what else we have. Um, something that, you know, when you look at some of this furniture in here too, um, there's a lot of antique stores here. So if you're looking to come in and purchase some uh, period pieces, you could do that in Franklin also. Um, also, they have a big, big back deck here. And just one point of reference here, this little post here, it's called a hitching post. So back in the day, you would put, bring your carriage in and you would tie your horses to that hitching post or your horse for that matter. So really cool place. Uh, if you're looking for history, it's on the historic registry. Um, a lot of period pieces like this are in uh, the downtown Franklin area. So let's look at the next one. Here we are just a block down the street from the last one we looked at. So this is on 203 3rd Avenue. It's a three bed, two and a half bath, about 4,400 square feet. It is a two story uh, listed at 3.5. It was built uh, around 1850. So it's very similar to, you know, some of the decor we saw in the last one. The, it's about built about 10 years earlier than the one we just looked at but um, really nice property. Let's take a look on the inside. This one is currently being used as a lawyer's office space. So a law firm is in here. Um, so that's where, why you see the decor uh, looks just like lawyer's uh, suites. Um, but it's really nice, it's got the, the high ceilings, it's got the hardwood floors. So we can see here, one thing I think is pretty cool here is this bookshelving here. Um, I think that's really sharp, really, really cool addition for an office. And so um, again, you know, it's a really nice property. It is located about a block from Town Square. So it's right there in the middle of everything. So if you're, it is zoned for office and residential. So if you're thinking you might want to purchase an office 
uh, space for your business, it'd be an awesome location. Here we are at our last property, just to take a look at, at a property on the inside again. This one was built in 1873, it's four bed, four and a half bath, 6,000 square feet. It did sell for 2.72, so this one is not currently on the market, but it gives us a good example of, of some of the architecture and the homes in the area. Uh, the cool thing about this one too is uh, the great mini pearl that was from the Grand Ole Opry, her grandparents built this house and so they lived there many i'm sure was around there uh, often when she as a kid so let's take a look on the inside so again this was a large house on a, on a big piece of property almost an acre of property as we can see we can scroll through here there's a lot of attention to detail there's a lot of things that are original and have been restored uh, the house is on the national registry uh, you know, period homes back here, and this is very common with Franklin, have big front porches, sometimes wraparound porches. You can see the big high ceilings. Now this one's done with uh, some antiques and some period pieces in, in regards to the pictures and the furniture, which is very common here too, with, especially if it's on a historical registry, people tend to um, decorate it so it fits the period. You can see there's a lot of attention to detail here with, with everything from bookshelves to types of furniture to types of uh, area rugs. Really big house for the, for the time period too. A lot, of the, a lot of the walls that you see painted in historic homes are colonial colors. So they tend to be very uh, vibrant with um, different types of color palettes. So really nice back porch here. And as you can see, they've upgraded these bathrooms and closets, so it's more of a modern um, decor in regards to that. So we'll finish here with just some, some drive-bys of some neighborhood areas. Um, and the homes there. So we'll be driving in and around Columbia Avenue and Fifth Avenue South for the majority of these homes. It's just to give us an opportunity to see what some other houses look like in the area. As you can see, there's a lot of historic homes here. Uh, most of these have been restored or renovated. You will find some that have been torn down and they've replaced it with a newer build and some of those are coming up. So here you see a newer build, but it's uh, following some of the guidelines where it, uh, the decor and the architecture looks like uh, the surrounding community. If you found this video helpful, please take a minute to comment and like it. You can help us reach more people with your help. Remember, we will be doing a new video in Franklin weekly for the next few months. So be sure to hit the subscribe button. And remember, if you're looking to move in 30 days or 90 days, pick up your phone, call, text, or email today. We'll get to work right away. Thanks again for watching.